Hello, folks. How's it going? Is it going good? Good. That's very important. Stay mentally healthy. Physically as well. Anyway, let's jump right in. So, for 9.92, I decided to record myself editing instead of, uh, instead of posing, which I almost did, but anyway. I decided to show some editing specifically. I don't know if you noticed in this chapter how Salandra had a lot of fun smearing all her blood everywhere all over the place. Yes, well, I had to edit that in. I could have made CC for this. As in, I could have made a wall painting of the blood smears, and I could have made a, a makeup CC for her hands to keep consistency. Because, yes, it's always nice to have consistency, always the same thing everywhere. But, uh, that was a lot more complicated than it, it required to be. So, it turned out to be a lot simpler to just edit it in every time. I do lose a bit of consistency, as you'll see mainly with the blood smear on the, on the window. But sometimes I manage to avoid this, as you'll see later, where I actually just copy-pasted the blood smear I did on another picture, and then just transferred it over, changed it up a bit so it fits uh, the angles, and then it's all good. So, you know, it, it came out pretty good anyways, th even though I didn't do any CC to keep consistency. So yes, blood. I don't know if you guys have ever edited before, right? If you've started editing, or tried editing blood, for me it was one of the most difficult things to learn. And I don't actually consider I've completely learned this yet. <laughs> I've still got a lot of things to learn about blood. But uh, in the beginning, as here, let me just show you an example of beforehand. Yes, Nick San. <laughs> I'm sure you noticed how the blood was a lot shinier, a lot more, like, it had more volume, bubbly almost. It looked fake. It looks fake. <laughs> but back then, that was still a huge advancement to what I, I used to do before. Progression. It's beautiful, guys. But, yes, I still had to learn a lot to learn because blood, uh, depending on where it is, on what it is, how much time it's been outside of the body, and how much of it there is, the consistency, consistency, the color, everything will change. For example, here, the picture you just saw, uh, the blood from Solange's hand and the blood smear on the wall are different colors, because I consider the blood smear on the wall to have been there longer, and it's thinner. It's a smear. It's starting to start to dry, and blood will get darker as it dries. And it will start to flake, especially on a window or on a smooth surface of the kind. Yes, smooth surfaces, blood flakes. On the skin as well, the blood will flake once it's started to, uh, to dry. As you'll notice, if ever you've bled or gotten a wound, the scabs, it's, the blood it coagulates and it flakes. But let's say on wood or a surface that absorbs liquid, then it will stain the surface. But anyway, I was working with a window here, so it was just a lot of smearing. And especially a window, I find blood is like a, a thick liquid. So it's like water, a little thicker on the window, and water will separate into uh, it will it will tend to separate into little areas instead of a perfect smear of blood, you know? But, uh, yeah. The other element that uh, I had to take care of here, apart from blood and adding, like, darker areas to create more death, well, was also Solange's hand. As you can see here, yes, I had a lot of trouble with this, <laughs> figuring out what I wanted for this picture. But uh, her hand got wounded. Which means, yes, she's bleeding from in between, from her knuckles, but also her body is trying to repair it immediately. Which means there's a, f uh, a flush of uh, of blood to the hand, which will make the, the hand appear redder. It's inflammation. As you'll see, I'll be adding a tinge of red to her hand each time, because the body will naturally send more blood to help repair and defend against infections. Because, oh la la, we have an open wound, folks. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, blood is... I still find it complicated, especially having to have done it in several pictures in a row. 
But it's like anything, you practice and trial and error. I spend a lot of time looking up what blood looked like on the internet. You know, seeing in different states, because when it's fresh and there's a lot of it, it will be more shiny. But if you smear it and it has time to dry, it won't be shiny because it'll it'll be almost like dust, you know, flaky and stuff. So yeah, blood is one of those depends where, how much, when. <laughs> uh, I don't know if this helped you, but if it did, that's fantastic. Anyway, there you go, guys. Have a good day.